All right, in this lecture, I'm gonna talk about value and reference types in JavaScript. Now, if you're familiar with this concept or you're a C-sharp developer, feel free to skip this lecture and move on to the next lecture. So in JavaScript, we have two types of variables. We have value types like strings, numbers, booleans, null, and undefined, and reference types, which include objects, arrays, and functions. So here's an example. When we declare a variable like x and set it to a string like apple, a part of computer's memory is allocated for x variable. Let's imagine the address of this location in memory is 111. So x will be a label for this memory location. And at that location, we have the string apple. Now let's see how memory allocation is different for reference types. So here we set x to an object instead of a string and objects are reference types. When this line is executed, similar as before, a part of computer's memory is allocated for the x variable, and let's imagine the address of this memory location is 111. But our object is not stored in this memory location. It's stored somewhere else. And let's imagine the address of this target memory location is 222. So our x variable, which is a label for memory location 111 will hold the address of the target memory location. So X is pointing or referencing a different memory location, and that's why we call them reference types. Now, in case you're curious why memory allocation is different between value and reference types, the reason is that we use value types for simple values, like numbers, strings, booleans, and so on. We don't need much memory for these kind of values. In contrast, we use objects and arrays for storing complex values. We need more memory. That's why, in terms of memory allocation, we have two different types of memory. We have stack memory, which is used for storing simple values or value types, and heap memory, which is used for storing larger, complex objects. Now, there are three facts you need to know about value types and reference types. The first one is that value types are immutable, which means you cannot mutate them. You cannot change them. Once you initialize them, they're always the same. Here is an example. So let's declare X and set it to Apple. Now, if we call one of the string methods like to uppercase, this method will return a new string, which is completely different from our original string. So here's our uppercase Apple. But if we print x, we still have the original lowercase apple. So the original value is not modified. That's why we call value types immutable. In contrast, if x was an object with the title property apple, now we can directly modify this title property here and make it uppercase. Now, if we print x on the console, we can see the original object is modified. So we no longer have the lowercase apple. In other words, we can mutate or change reference types. Now, the second fact about value types is that they're compared by value. What do I mean by that? Well, let's imagine X is apple. And I also have Y, which is apple. Now, if we compare X and Y, the result is true. So even though X and Y are in two different parts of the memory, because they're value types, they're compared by the value they're holding, in this case, Apple. In contrast, reference types are compared by their references. And that means if X is an object, we title property set to Apple. And Y is also another object with the exact same property. Now, if we compare them, we get false because X and Y are reference types. And when we compare them, the references are compared. In other words, X is referencing this object at this location 222, whereas Y is referencing this other object at location 333. So when we compare X and Y, it's like we're comparing 222 with 333. And of course they are different. So this is the second fact about value types and reference types. And the third one is that value types are copied by value. What do I mean by that? 
Well, one more time, let's imagine X is Apple. Now, if we declare Y and set it to X, because X is a value type, a copy of X's value is taken and stored in Y. So now X and Y are two independent variables in the memory. In contrast, if X is an object, with a title property set to Apple. And Y is another variable, and we set this to X. Now both X and Y are referencing or pointing to the same object in memory. And that means if I change this object via X reference, so X.title, let's update this. Now this change is visible through the other reference. So if I print Y, look, I have an object with title set to orange. So a value type is copied by its value, whereas a reference type is copied by its reference. Hey, thank you for watching my YouTube video. My name is Mosh Hamedani, and I'm a full stack developer, a Pluralsight author, and a Udemy instructor with about 14 courses at the time of recording this video. So I've got lots of courses on both front end and back end development, including C Sharp, Entity Framework, ASP.NET MVC, Angular, Architecture, unit testing, and so on. This video you watched is actually part of my Angular course on Udemy that you can get with a discount using the link in the video description. And if you want to see my other courses, simply head over to programmingwithmosh.com slash courses. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel to get free videos every week. Have a great day, and I'll be back soon.